Tal, I hope you're doing well. Um, Coach Sposter said it was a little bit when he looked out there, kind of a Kentucky reunion out there with some of the guys, um, in particular one of your former teammates, P.J. Washington. I know it's just for a few days, but what's it like getting to share the court again with him? And how do you, you know, what are your thoughts on how his career has progressed through the first two uh, NBA seasons? Well, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, you know, like like Spo said, it is, you know, you know, a, a Kentucky reunion. We had four guys out there today. Um, it felt good to to be out there with them guys again. We uh, were able to get shots up after, and it kind of, you know, seems like, you know, reminiscing back on our old days. But, you know, PJ's a, you know, a tremendous player. He's, I think he's continuing to, you know, keep getting better. And, um, you know, I think the sky's the limit for him in Charlotte. I, you know, he's, you know, a great stretch, stretch four, can play the five. And, you know, he's just continuing to get better every every time I see him, you know, on the court. So I'm, I'm excited for his future. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, Tyler, I, I wonder how your year or season with Kentucky, how did that help you in the process of being where you're at now? Um, I think, uh, you know, it pretty much set me up for, for where I am right now, you know, you know, playing for Coach Cal and, you know, the four guys that are here with me today, I think, you know, that that was just an experience that, you know, you can't really, you know, explain how much it it affected my career. And I think, you know, going to Kentucky, you know, has set me up to for success down the line and, you know, just continuing to to be in the gym and continuing to get better every single day. I think that that stems from Kentucky and, you know, the hours we put in at, in at, in at Kentucky just continue to to show. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know, to to keep getting better. And, you know, Kentucky was a, a big stepping stone for that. Tyler, because of the way the season sort of meshed into each other, you didn't have a developmental off season. You had a rookie season, you caught your breath and boom, you were back in training camp. Now that you have a longer off season, whether it's this camp under Spo or in coming weeks, what elements of your game, given a full off season now, are you most looking to work with and improve? Um, yeah, I think, you know, this summer is, you know, a huge summer for me. Um, and I'm excited, you know, like you said, it's my first real off season where I'm able to, you know, focus on, you know, different things that I want to work on. And I think for for one is is definitely just being able to get, get stronger, um, you know, building my foundation, whether it's, you know, my legs and just my upper body, just being able to, you know, come into a, to more of an NBA body and um, really put some weight on and then, you know, I think just being more efficient from three, you know, continuing to get better in my my decision making in the pick and roll, and um, you know, just being a lot more efficient. I feel like I can be, you know, much more efficient in the mid range from the three, and really all around. So I'm just excited to put in all the all the time, all the effort in the summer, you know, and continue to get better. It's uh, Josh from Channel Seven in Miami. What are you just hoping to take away from this experience with the select team? Um, I'm just happy to, you know, be around a bunch of, you know, young young guys that are, you know, have, you know, bright futures in this league and, you know, all the great coaches and, and you know, the, the select teams, you know, surrounded with great players. But I think being able to go up and, you know, scrimmage the, the Olympic team is going to be, you know, an experience that, you know, no one can take away that you'll be able to just, you know, really see where I'm at and where I need to be. So, um, I'm excited to just be able to take, you know, this whole week and just focus on basketball and continue to, you know, just, you know, show my show myself and continue to get better. Hey, Tyler. Um, you're in a unique position where you have your NBA head coach as your head coach with the select team. How do you think that's going to help you um, with this experience and, and, and what you want to accomplish that maybe could translate, you know, to, to next season for you? Yeah, I think... You know, it's unique because I'm able to, you know, just continue to, you know, build a, a strong relationship with Coach Bo. Um, you know, I plan on, you know, playing for him for a while, and and that's my plan, and I, I you know I hope that happens. So I continue to just build a, you know, strong relationship with him, and um, you know, I think this experience for both of us is is big. You know, it's something in the summer where we can just go, you know, obviously to Vegas for a week and just focus on basketball and, you know, really. You know, try, try to you know up our knowledge on the game, and there's there's multiple things we can take away from it. Hey, Tyler, hope you're doing well. 
what aspects of your game you you would like to improve in those in this program with the select team and what do you expect to see from BAM to the upcoming Olympic Games? Um, I just like I said earlier, you know, I just want to continue to you know get to my spots, be a lot more efficient. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of things I can work on, but um, I think in this summer I'm able to focus on a couple of things and. And really, just hone in on those, and you'll see those jumps and, and leaps I can make in the next in the next year. Tyler, how are you, sir? I'm good. How you doing? Doing well. So, Tyler, you talked about earlier not having that full off season. Do you think not having that full off season had a negative impact on your performance this season? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean. You know, not in any way do I think I regressed at all. I think I, you know, I obviously I wasn't really excited with my performance, but, you know, I think I'm not regress, regressing in any way. So I'm, ex, you know, excited to have a full off season where I can lock in and really, um, really just work on some things that I want to work on and know I need to work on and really just, you know, continue to get better and, and not regress. Thanks, Tyler. We'll take our last question from Brendan. Uh, Tyler, just uh, just going back to Bam a little bit. Did you guys have any conversations when he found out that you were going to be kind of joining him here, and you guys would be practicing against one another a little bit? And uh, is there any particular guy uh, that you're not familiar with as much? Because I know you and Bam go probably against each other a bunch in practice. Anybody on the Olympic team that you are looking forward to either pick their brain or go against, or any skills that you could pick up from them? Yeah, um, yeah, I talk to Bam, you know, all the time, and you know, we talked about just being out here, and it's it's a great experience for me. He thinks I can obviously just take a lot of from it, um, talk, and you know, you know, Bam is obviously Bam, and you know, we play with him a lot, like you said. But I just think you know, the whole Olympic team is you know filled with obviously great players that are very well accomplished in this league, and I think I can just take away you know really anything from any of them guys where I can. You know, just pick their brain and just soak in as much as I can throughout the week. Thank 